How do you drum up support for a thing that nobody wants? Well, Justin Trudeau's government paid the World Economic Forum to produce a report justifying a carbon tax. Just saving the planet. He's uh, just, you know, that planet savior out there. Uh, this is him just, just the other day talking about uh, doing the right thing. But my job is not to be popular. My job, although it helps, uh, my job, my job is to do the right things for Canada now and do the right things for Canadians a generation from now. Is that what he was doing when he was, uh, well, getting this justified? So this is coming from Kian Bexi. The documents reveal the Liberal Climate Change Department paid the World Economic Forum to produce a report that made an, an, an economic case for the environmental agenda, including the ever-increasing carbon tax, the tax that goes up on April 1st, by the way. This is what we're all going to, we're all going to do to bask and enjoy in, in that one. In fact, actually, his liberal uh, counterparts in the Maritimes are actually lobbying against him to not raise it any further. Liberals paid for report justifying climate change policies. This, this is reminiscent of during the Freedom Convoy when uh, crooked news media started writing false reports and then the, the, uh, the police were reiterating this to the media, these false reports, and then the media was then saying they got the reports from the police. This is what's happening here. In August of 2019, the Environment and Climate Change Department's then minister... Catherine McKenna gave half a million dollars of taxpayers' dollars to the World Economic Forum to produce a report as revealed in a response to an order paper question sent by Conservative MP Leslin Lewis. Specifically, the documents reveal the Environment of Canada, Climate Change, ECCC, that's the abbreviation, gave money to enable the World Economic Forum to produce and disseminate a report that will establish a business and economic case for safeguarding nature, as it says here. This report will be directed at senior decision makers in government and business who have the influence and ability to shift business as usual approach the ECCC stated uh, just months later in December 2020, 2020, Prime Minister Trudeau announced a significant hike in his government's carbon tax scheme, one that would raise taxes and fuels $170 to $170 a ton by 2030. I'll leave a link in the description. Check out the whole article in its entirety. Leslin Lewis uh, tweeting out the carbon tax is not working to protect the environment under the Liberals. Canada has missed every emissions target and ranking 63rd of 65 countries on global um, climate action. The tax is only working to drive up the cost of living and kill Canadian competitiveness, to which Gibo, Gibo, the the new environmental minister of the environment and climate change. It was the name of it. It was actually changed in 2015. Guess what happened in 2015? Uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau got into office and he changed the name of it from the, the environmental minister to the environmental and climate change minister. This is Stephen Gibo former Greenpeace, I think he still believes, uh, I think he still may be a member of Greenpeace. Conservatives like Le like Lewis debate whether climate change is real and present no real plan. <laughs> no real plan. There is a plan uh, on the conservative platform. Go read it. This is a thing that keeps coming up in conversation. They do have a plan. I don't know if uh, you agree with their plan, but it is a plan. They, they think putting a price on pollution should be like flipping a switch to a problem they don't even recognize, but it is working. It's part of a larger plan. Now, this is one thing uh, that is really in contention and nobody challenges anyone on. CO2 is not considered a pollutant. Uh, there is many uh, chemicals or many other things that are considered pollution. By calling it pollution, you're alluding to it being something that it is not. Now, they, the, the climate alarmism would give you the impression that, uh, you know, CO2 is the cause of all the world's problems. Um, however, uh, people who are, you know, really concerned about the environment, care about real pollution, you know, pollution getting into, you know, carcinogens getting into our waterways, into our air, things like that. But I digress on this one. 
Gibo doesn't even have a solution for this. Now, this was a order paper question that he responded to back in November of last year. The government does not measure the annual amount of emissions that are directly reduced by federal carbon pricing. Wait, so we're doing all this work and we're impoverishing Canadians, but we're not even measuring the results of it? That's right. That's absolutely correct. We're not even measuring the results of it so that we can compare things to, you know, the rest of the world, perhaps. But we still are comparing to the rest of the world. Here's a graph talking about, well, just how much annual CO2 emissions have uh, been changing over the years. Now, you have the United States, the EU 27, and China here going way, way, way up. Uh, these ones largely remaining relatively flat with a downward tr trend trajectory. Why is it that we don't even register on this map? Well, that's because we don't produce enough to even register on this map. Why are we impoverishing our citizens of this country when we don't even register on the big, big emitters in the world? But yet we have the strictest, strictest stringent, stringent uh, policy on this it might seem that there's other things at play. Now, Justin Trudeau had this to say about his his environment minister. In regards to my my uh, my environment minister, I have tremendous faith and confidence uh, in my environment minister. Uh, and if you know, if people are having a trouble getting along with them, maybe they need to look at their own uh, approach to uh, these big issues, as opposed to uh, looking at what he's talking about, which is uh, consistent with building a better future for everyone. If you can't get along with this fanatic, perhaps you should look introspectively at yourself. Unbelievable. CBC Watcher posting this one. He has been given a pretty free reign to to trample on the Constitution and interfere with national unity and also interfere with investment, says Smith, who adds she wants to deal with someone pragmatic instead of Guibo, who is the who is a man on his own mission. This is absolutely correct. I'll leave a link to that article in the description down below. Go check it out yourself. But yeah, this is something, this is at a press conference, uh, uh, Danielle Smith commenting on Gibo uh, indirectly. I uh, let him know that I don't have as great a relationship as one of his other ministers, uh, or with one of his other ministers, and I, I expressed my uh, desire in person that if he chose to make a change in that portfolio, I'd be happy to have a reset in our relationship on that front. But we're going to work on the things that we can work together on. Obviously, trying to work on things. Uh, an effort, a one-way effort from Alberta to work with the uh, federal government, obviously. Uh, not the greatest. Ke Keith Wilson put this one out on Twitter saying, hey, John, you give me $100 each month and I'll give you a rebate of $10 each month. Deal? <laughs> to which he, he replied again as well. Uh, me again, math question. If Pierre acts as our deal and you both, uh, you both A, don't have to pay me $100 each month and B, I don't have to rebate you $10 a month. How much more money will you have at the end of the month? <laughs> Feel free to ask a friend. Uh, Guy Bo, I hear he's a real numbers guy. Absolutely amazing. And of course, this is coming up in a lot of speeches uh, from Pierre Polyev as he's on the campaign trail to win the next, uh, uh, win the next prime minister's seat. Um, but circling back, this is the undue influence of the World Economic Forum. And he had this to say in, in his recent speech, and this is part of his campaign, exactly. We will ban all of our ministers and members of parliament from any involvement in the World Economic Forum. And just listen to the crowd. They're excited. And this is coming out all over the place. Even other independent news sources are finding other stories about undue influence in the of the World Economic Forum. Here's uh, Noe Charche from the Epoch Times writing, former finance minister, thank you letters to WEF suggest more collaboration than disclosed. And this goes back years. Close. Uh, close interactions between Canadian cabinet ministers and the World Economic Forum are well documented, but a newly revealed letter suggests forum staff may have been doing more work with the federal government than previously disclosed. In a letter to the a World Economic Forum official, former minister, finance minister Bill Moreau, Morneau, 
praised the organization and its collaboration to achieve common objectives. Why would they have common objectives with a lobby group um, from that wants to take over the world? You know, <laughs> unbelievable. I would also like to take this opportunity to express my sincere appreciation for the WEF staff. For support provided to the government of Canada, wrote Mr. Morneau in the letter obtained through the access to information regime. The federal government is known to have been involved in at least two World Economic Forum policy initiatives, the Known Traveler ID and the uh, that project and the Agile Nations Network. And now we know that they were collaborating in order to produce uh, well, documents supporting a carbon tax. But hey, I'm going to leave this one with you. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about the whole concept of the, the World Economic Forum working closely with the federal government, the, our tax dollars being sent to them so that they can make publications that will justify policies that go against our better judgment. Uh, this is unbelievable. I can't believe that I'm even expressing this in words <laughs> to a camera to you guys out there. So please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. And of course, we'll see you in the next one. Keep on tracking.